going on with your book? Whoa. What is he doing? Is he all right? I think his wrist is messed up. Oh, shit. What's up? What are you doing? You think you're John Cena? He can't see you? Bro. Thank you. Tony Yayo. Thank you. Chichichu, chichichu. I can't take this. Y'all just doing too much. Take him. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. And we have with us here today to talk to New York, Thanks Tony Yeo. Tony Yeo. Yeah. 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 Here from 134th and Guy Brewer. Yes, definitely. Trinidad. Come on, baby. We're you know, so happy to have you here. Definitely. We're going to talk some, about your sneaker I threw some. I threw some kicks on for this guy. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Come we on, appreciate you know. that. Let's talk about wealthy sneakers first. Wealthy, what are you wearing? Had to wear these today. These are the j j j j j j j j New Balance 990 V3s. <laughs> we gonna give him uh, a spinner chain? Oh, dude, that made my day, man. Thank <laughs> we need to give him a spinner chain. We should give him a spinner chain. That was good. He deserved right. it, right? Yeah. right. I like the go. olive color, too. What, yeah. what color is that? Olive green? Yeah, ready to go to war in them, right? I like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to Flight Club. We don't have beef anymore. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Flight Club. Yeah, I love Flight, Flight Club. Club. I love yeah, Flight you know, Club, Shout out to Flight Club. We don't have beef anymore. Um, I got uh, one of my grails, which are these Saquon Barkley Nike Air Trainer 3s. Ooh. Um, new dad socks, guys. Um, you know, get your dad socks. I well, feel you've good. been getting fly for a long time, man. We got to give you your props, man. Everybody give Trinidad James props. You've been getting... He had Clap his own it up for style this man. for a while, but I, I knew he was gonna have something good on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tony, what you got up for? Um, I got the Chinese New Year's. No. Like Jordans. Yeah. Jordan Six. I had to just yeah, Jordan Sixes, Chinese New Year's. I had to bring them out. Just something different. They all comfortable. They feel a little more wider than mm -hmm. the average Jordan. Yes, sir. But I, I said let me throw these out the closet real quick. You playing ball in these? Oh uh, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> okay. I got the Adidas Sambas on. You might see me hitting the Sambas. Oh, okay, the Sambas. Okay. Hey, hey. Like <laughs> hey. <laughs> Shout out to Brazil. I love Brazil. Passport gang, baby. Definitely passport Tony, gang in the building. Tony, you say you love those shoes, but what's the most regrettable sneaker purchase you ever made? I probably would go, damn, I don't want to say it. Say, say it. it. I would say the Hermes sneakers I bought years yeah. ago. I bought, I've been wearing Hermes since like 205, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was like a patent leather con, and it was about, I paid about maybe 2,000, of, but they just didn't last long. They got crinkled in the front real fast. You were fast. playing basketball in those? No, I wasn't. I was just, and I was happy to get them. I was like one of the first guys wearing Hermes sneakers. Right. So I was yeah. on it way back. Bottega Veneta, I was talking about that years ago in 05. As well time. as like how you was talking about <laughs> stuff from years ago. But Thanks. I would say the Hermes sneakers that I got, they was like a high top. They was fire, but they got damaged like real easy. All right, let's talk sneakers. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss okay. is the DJ Khaled Air Jordan 5 collection. These are okay to me. I just hope some regular people are actually able to get their hands on them. Tony, do these do anything for you? They're not bad. You see you in Miami I, with those on? I like the um, white and purple and the blue ones. Okay. I what can't even, I can't even hate. Even though me and Khaled, we ain't had a good Wait. pass. But those, I like those. <laughs> are you, those are fire. Are you, on a, are you on a level now where he... May send you a pair? Or I don't that... think Khaled would ever send me a pair. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> no problem. Yo. What size, just in case? I don't think he's ever going to send me a pair. We ain't going there. We But those are fire, though. I, 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 like the color, I like the color scheme. You'd wear them? Yeah, I would wear them. If we didn't have beef, but you know, <laughs> right. but we're past you know what I mean? We're past that. You Decades. know, if, if he sends a pair, maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't have a problem with him, but in the past, you know, sure. it's been crazy. We cool with Fat Joe now, of course, so Bang. that's what it was kind of more so from. from. Shout to 50, shout to Fat Joe, rest in peace to Chris Lighty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, rest in peace to K Slay, because yeah. he just passed oh, away. Oh, my God, yeah. uh, Rest in peace to him, too. Big time. Which mm -hmm. ones you like? Um, For me, honestly, uh, Let me have... guess. You would go with the, the, what are those, like red, reddish? Is this like a, a peach, peach color? I, I like those, those too. in person. Georgia peaches, right? I want to see those kind of fire, too. I can't The purple I got to see, and I'm not going Lie. I'm a big, big fan. I was getting ready to come in hot. Like, come on, Khaled. What we got? What going do you feel on about here? the big weed the best on the back, though? Well, be honest. <laughs> well, I feel like that could have been a little bit smaller. Oh, okay. Not so okay. The size. Wait, right? does Khaled just, do just anything? Little, not. No, nah, no, that's his slogan. But I'm just saying that look kind of, you know. I'm saying this is big Trinidad wearing one of each color at the same time. I'm not I mad at that. I'm not oh, mad at that. I can see him doing that. I can see Trinidad you. doing that. Come on. Shout out to Trinidad that. James. If y'all don't know, he, <laughs> come on, man. Thank Next you, bit you. of sneaker news. Mischief doing a sneaker collaboration with Tyga. Oh, man. Mischief, Mischief is getting sued by Vans. I seen, you know what? I seen these. this 
on the internet the other day. Yeah. Yeah. What you and think? I don't like these, and I feel like it does have a Vans feeling. No disrespect to Tiger, but mm-hmm. look at it. Those yeah. look like the Vans imprint. Like, if you saw Very someone wearing so. those walking down the street, you just think they had Vans on, or? I would think you have Vans on. And I think if Vans came out with that, that would be pretty dope. Yeah. So maybe if, if Tiger maybe would have showed that to Vans and they collabed. The funny thing is, huh? Mischief said that Vans tried to approach them and say, look, if you give us half the profits, we can maybe work together in the future. But they said no way. I think they should have worked it out because the top part does look. look. At it. And they got the little Vans. Don't Vans got that little tag in the back too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so come, on, bro. come on, come on, come on. Come on, Trinidad. Let's keep it real now. No, 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 for sure. <laughs> what, I mean, first of all, you know, shout out to Tiger. Shout making to this Tiger. play, whatever. You know, that's, that's all love. What is a mischief collab without it being controversial? Mm-hmm. Everything okay. that they drop is controversial because that is their branding. Oh, mischief. For they're mischief. The, they're the ones that did the little Nas X Satan Oh, the blood ship. sneaker. The blood yeah. sneaker. They did the oh. Jesus water sneaker. You know what I'm saying? So they, they do get creative. Yeah, they go Because the crazy. sneaker's not bad, but I feel like it, if it was with Vans, it would be a little more official. Like, because Vans, that would go. Right. Well, maybe they need to start collabing with the brands instead of hey. getting sued all the time. <laughs> See, That's I, the I game think they plan, like though. that. I, think they I don't like know. That. The Satan sneakers was like kind of crazy. crazy. <laughs> you know, God, please forgive me. I'm just saying. <laughs> right, you know right. what I mean? For people who like the blood in there, it was just crazy. Yes, sir. I, I think they, with the idea, maybe do something else. Yes, sir. I like the liquid in there and everything, but I thought it was just like kind of. Maybe some vitamin you water. Know, you can't wear those in church. What are you doing? That's, that's not happening, huh? Vitamin water? Vitamin water, water would be the- cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. Anything. <laughs> Just different colors. I don't know. Now, my brother Yayo, when did sneakers matter for you first? Can I think... You, can you tell me about that? That's why I wanted to come on the show, because I feel like... <sighs> sneakers sneakers play a big part of the environment, especially the hood. Yes, where sir. me and you from. We yes, from sir. the bottom. I don't encourage anybody to sell drugs or do anything Correct. negative, but I wanted to sell drugs to get sneakers at a young age. Right. Because my parents would get me, you know, we was we was halfway there. Mm-hmm. My parents would get me stuff. I had my brother, we would share everything. Shout out to Gene. But yeah, so you know everything. You do your homework. Shout out to my brother Gene. Yes, yes, sir. I got to a certain age, like 15, 16, where I wanted that Jordan now. My parents might have the money for the New Balance. I love New Balance, yeah. but now I want the Jordan. That thing. Now. I want that thing. Right. So you know, when you come to the block, the people that I looked up to was the hustlers the around guys. my way. I wish I had different role models, but all my role models were hustlers that everything was like going to Jamaica Avenue, going to the Coliseum, or going to Gertz Mall and get them sneakers. So before we was kids and we even thought about cars, these was our cars, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what we hustle for. What you was the first saying? Jordan you bought yourself? Hmm, that's, I don't even remember. Probably the Jordan 1s. Okay. Right? But you know what the ultimate go-to sneaker is? If y'all want me to get into it now. Please. Come on, the white downtowns, come on. Everybody know, till this day, you'll see the biggest rappers, NBA Young Boy, all these guys, Dirk, all these rappers. For a new generation, yeah. they, they still Kodak understand Black. the Kodak Black, you see all these rappers, they'll have the downtowns on, the white Air Force Ones. That's the go-to sneaker. I've never heard it referenced as downtowns. Because you know the uptowns in New York, we used to wear the high top with the strap too. Right. And I then love you know that. the black ones, you yes, know. Yes, sir, of course. The black ones. <laughs> ah, watch he out. got the black sneakers on. I'm across on. the street. God might have something on him, man. It's dangerous. <laughs> if you see Tony Yayo and all black Air Force Ones, what you Oh, man, I might be dangerous for that night. You know what I mean? I might be dangerous. Or it might just look, well, now it might just look good for the outfit, but if I see somebody else, I'm like, wow, he got the black downtowns on. Let me make sure. If you look grimy. Exactly. But when I see the white uptowns, I know you came to relax. You you fly, you, <laughs> yeah. you know? Speaking of grimy stuff, as right as your rap career starts to take off, right. you know, there was the whole free Yale movement. Oh, definitely. You, you get locked up. Definitely. When Absolutely. you were in jail, do you, do you remember what sneakers you were getting or were you getting sneakers when oh, you were in prison? yeah. I mean, I remember coming home and shout out to Eminem and 50 because yeah. that was a big moment for me. I was in Rikers Island, yeah. C-73, two lower. And you know, guys fight over the TV, get stabbed. Rikers Island is a place you don't want to go. It's like your, uh, no, what's it, which I got, Fulton County? Yeah. Yeah, it's like y'all Fulton County right. or LA County, Rikers right. Island. I got a call from um, Tracy B. New. And she was like, I got a surprise for you tonight. Just watch the Grammys. So I'm like, all right, well, a couple of guys just got stabbed over the TV last week. So I just spoke to a couple of dudes in the house like, yo, listen, I need to watch the Grammys tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want y'all, you know, Caliente. Sometimes you might watch the game. Somebody might get hurt. They let me get the Grammys that night. 
M Water shirt, long story shirt. I remember the first sneakers that I came home to was the Jam Master J Adidas. And Eminem had the Air Max. Mm -hmm. And then I had all the G Unit collab sneakers at the time when 50 and Jay Z had the um, Reebok deal. Yeah. Yeah. I think but right I was when they excited. popped you out January 2004, you were in the van with the G Unit sneakers on, right? Yeah, definitely. Right out of Lakeview. Yeah, definitely. Right? They had the G Unit sneakers for me. That was the biggest thing on the, the street at that time. I love that. I was happy because that, that, we got big advances too from Reebok. And I could tell y'all a crazy story. I'll tell, tell y'all a crazy tell one. It. Tell well, it. Oh, well, yeah. let me ask you this. I mean, uh -huh. you, you bringing up that moment or whatever segues into, you know, how did how was that feeling when you came home to 50? I mean, it, it was the greatest feeling ever because I never thought that, you know, 50 would sell 11 million records or we would be big stars. We was just in the hood. Like, you know, you know what fame feel like. Of course. It mean, your first time hearing yourself on the radio. Like, I whoa. mean, just to be recognized from my city, New York City, was good enough. But for us to be worldwide, like going to Europe and going to all these places, Perfect. that was big for me. Like, you know, the women, the cars, all that can go, but traveling the world, going to see places like Italy. Trip in Italy. Dubai, Paris, mm -hmm. Germany, Switzerland. Oswald. Um, you know, Morocco, being in a cell, um, Nelson Mandela was in, getting to see them stuff and mm -hmm. have them experiences is the best thing in the world because some people never get to lead a block. Never. Tell us that Reebok story. I need to hear about that. Because you oh. said on East Side, West Side that you had a half a million dollar advance with Reebok. Definitely. I definitely got a big check from them when I came home. You had a separate deal and with Reebok, even yeah, though 50 definitely. was signed. 50 let us have our own sneaker. Right. But um, you see the success of like Kanye West with sneakers. Yeah, correct. Like I wish I would've took it more serious back then. It was just like, yo, get the check. All right, yo, just throw my logo on there, the thumbprint, right. and that's it. <laughs> It wasn't me sitting down. It really going That's what you in. would do. Yes. Because yeah. yes. that's the type of person you are. And I wish at the time that I had like a creative mind of like a Kanye. Right. So I just was like, yo, put the thumbprint on it. It's good. I'm happy. I'm home. Cut the check. The check is cut. Thanks, 50. <laughs> I'm going to buy this Bentley and I'm going to buy another Benz. One day, 50 called the meeting because we just got the checks. Everybody was getting the checks, but it was just crazy. 50 was in a funny mood, because you know, shout to 50, but he gets yeah. crazy sometimes. Of Everybody know he's crazy. And um, he always promotes his stuff though. He's good with branding. Like we always had the G unit stuff on. So he came, he called in the room, it's me, Banks, Buck, rest in peace, Prodigy. Prodigy mm -hmm. was there, Mob Deep. He looked at the ground. He was like. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. What y'all rocking? What y'all rocking? What's up? You didn't have on your shoes. Nobody had on their shoes. shoes. Damn. Yeah. Banks yep. had on Gucci. I had on Louis. Yeah. <laughs> Buck had on Fendi, whatever. All right, right, right. <laughs> Bob Deep, I don't know what they had on, mm -hmm. but nobody had on their actually shoe. And he was like, um, deal's over, guys. No more checks from Reebok. But I understood at the time, I'm like, fuck, man, I'm getting a good amount of year off, this, off these yeah. checks. But at the same time, it was just a bad day not to have the sneak on. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, it's all about promoting your own hey, brand. Did you, you have access to a lot of free Reebok sneakers? Like, could you get whatever Reebok you Oh, I had everything time? coming in. Like I yeah. said, I told you, I had the Jam Master J Adidas, which I'm mad it got lost somewhere. I had the uh, Eminem Air Max. Yeah. I had I had 50 sneaker my my sneaker. How much do you think you get uh, should get credit for for making those G Unit Reeboks pop off at the time? I think 50 should get all the credit. Cause it was popping. I just yeah. came home to the deal, and like I said, I didn't take my time to actually sit there and create. I just felt like at that time it was just everything was moving so fast when I got out of jail. We missed out on the bulletproof Tony Ayo Reebok. Oh sneaker. man, on, yeah, man. man. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> what does your sneaker collection look like now these days? It's semi good, man. When you see like Khaled's collection and yeah. Offset collection, it's like, man, how much sneaker? You know how much sneaker? Right, right, right. It's a big investment. Little you yaddy, know, but I just, yeah, I don't put the pressure on myself. I just get what I like. Yeah. I know in the past though, you said you know a lot of like rappers and artists like just blow too much money on stuff that doesn't matter Definitely. and then go broke. But Definitely. do you think that like you know a lot of these guys are trying to compete with each other where there's just like I don't think it's like that. I'm, let me let me tell you. I'm gonna break it down to you. I think when we we're young black men from the hood, you give us a couple of million dollars, we might not know how to act because we never like I never knew nothing about mortgage and interest rates. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you go on tour, you make a quarter mil, you know what I mean? Now you got girls you're tricking on, you're giving girls your credit card, you're buying cars on the road, you're getting bottles, you know what I'm saying? That adds up. Um, it, you're adding up, so now you might not have no shows, you done spent a quarter million dollars, yo 50, can I get the help? And 50 give you the money. Cause that's one thing, like one thing I'll never go against 50, 50 can say whatever you want about me, Eminem, Dr. Dre, those three people right there and a lot of people from Shady, Paul Rosenberg, mm -hmm. I feel like they turn the lights on for all of us. What we do after that, it depends on us. You mentioned Eminem and the Air Maxes. Did you ever have any of the Eminem Air Jordans? He had all those limited I didn't get Jordan 4s. Shout out to Eminem. I, 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 <laughs> hopefully I can get him, man. You know, he's a busy guy. Yeah. You know? 
Can you get a pair for me? I, I will hope so, man. We, we ask him. Marshall? Marshall, mm -hmm. make it happen, man. Ten and a half. You know, you talked about Air Force Ones and, you know, like how big that is in New York City. Right. You can't even get none right now. But I feel like, you know, obviously your generation, it was like wear a crispy pair of white Air Force Ones, right? Like you right. wear them once or twice and then ditch them. Definitely, because once they crease in the front, you know you're done. But there's a trend now where you see people wearing a lot of like dirty Air Force Ones where that's okay. For me, it's not okay. I mean, you know, I <laughs> it's not okay. I can't Actually, wear those in the hood. Not yeah. okay. But what I'm saying is, okay, like when we look at sneakers, right? My favorite rap group of all times, I always say that changed the game was Run DMC because they did the song with Aerosmith. Yep. Yeah. Walk, walk, walk this way. Crazy. And that was the first song to what? Get on MTV, right? Or something Big like deal. that? First music yeah. video or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was like one of the right. first yeah. biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the crossover, crossover. they working yeah. together. Yeah. Exactly. I got a chance to meet Jam Master J with 50. Rest in peace to him, legend. Yeah. And they had Adidas. Yeah. So back in the days, you see like all the tough guys from your neighborhood in New York had the Adidas with no laces. Yeah. That trend supposedly started in jail when they take your laces out yep. of jail. Mm -hmm. But like, the Adidas, the shell top Adidas back in the days. Come on, bro. Those are like classics to have. Everybody need a pair of Adidas. Pumas was another classic. Down South, Reeboks. So sneakers was like, that's Easter. Easter just passed. Yeah. You get fresh for Easter. New Balance. There's plenty of brands that, you know, that influence the culture. When it comes to style, where do you think, where would you rank G-Unit, like in the peak of G-Unit style as far as like rap groups? I would say everybody kind of had their own style. 50 never been a materialistic guy. Like back in the days, we'll be on the block, you wear the same clothes for days if you, that shows how much you really a hustler. Of course. So go get a white tee, he got a new chain, and he got a Mercedes Benz at 17 years old. He got a white tee and a chain, and you want a Mercedes Benz? You fly, so 50 always had money, so. But for me, I think what, my style, I think, I don't care if it's a myriad champion, it's how you wear it. Right. Coming, you, know I mean, you hit them with the bucket hat, you know, you had right. different looks and different styles. That you made the bucket then, hat and iconic. And then New York, you gotta understand, styles is different, so I compare, I think we had a great style because we had Timberlands, jeans, the basic New York style. When you look at um, Dipset, D-Block, Battle, yeah. you know, they came yeah. fresh, Gucci, Louis on. But New York didn't care about none of that shit. But I was on like Hermes first. Right. I was on Bottega Veneta first. Yeah. We was on Gucci and Louis. I told you we lost the check. Because we had all that stuff <laughs> on. Man, I wish uh, I didn't do it. Right. I wish I did listen to what 50 said because I would have made more money. Because 50 is the type that's going to wear his brand. Period. And that's what made G and SL when we had to deal with Echo because he wore his brand and that made the. Shout out to Mark. You see little kids everywhere. G unit everywhere. That shirt started off in the hood. That was like, you write on your shirt. Then 50 did the wife beater. Yeah, so I can't say 50's tops? not creative because yeah. he made right. millions of dollars. What made him make the wife beater? Do you know? You know what? One day he was in a crib. He took a regular wife beater and just threw some color on it. 50's like that. He just designed it himself? Just yeah. designed it himself with the marker. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to wear this. <laughs> Shit got popular. She so fucking made millions off that fucking white beater. That's amazing. Would I wear it? No, I'm not right, muscle right, man. Right, it's right, not right. for me. Did you wear yeah, a lot of the G unit clothes back in the day? Yeah, I wear G unit clothes, yeah. of course. Yeah. But you know when you start making the checks and shit start getting to your head, yeah, you're like, man, yeah. I'm gonna go to Louis and Gucci. I'm going to Hermes now. Mm. Let me pull a Bentley mm -hmm. in front of Hermes and spend mm. some of this money. Come on. <laughs> when I could have been wearing my own shit and Come promote on. my shit. Right, make the Look money back. Look at Kanye. Back. Kanye's a genius. He wears his own shit. Tony, you talk you know, a lot about like how like hustling inspired you growing definitely, up. Definitely. But have you ever resold sneakers? No, nah, I know that's a big business. My son was telling me about that. I know a lot of kids in the neighborhood in Long Island and all other places that resold sneakers and and make money. Like, what's that kid in Dubai that got that sneaker store? Money kid. Yeah, that kid yeah. is like <laughs> ridiculous. Shout so out to Rashid. I always tell people, yo, um, are we gonna have lawyers and doctors years from now? Because now a kid can go on YouTube or we right. selling sneakers or- We need essential NFTs. workers, man. <laughs> it's not gonna be none. It's right, gonna right. be robots or something. Nobody wants to do that. Because they like, all right, cool, I could be a doctor or lawyer, but I could um, resell sneakers and make way more than you reselling sneakers. So I know I'm aware of the game and I got younger kids, so I watch what's going on. But my son puts me on with the resale sneakers. Shout yeah. out to young dude, do stacks. Follow him on Instagram. All right. All right. Yeah, yo, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for okay. something terrible they did said last week as decided by the YouTube commenters. Okay. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is Matt Wealthy for claiming on camera that he would never wear an animal print shoe. I've yet to own a pair of sneakers that have like the animal fur on it. Yeah. Adidas EQT 91s. I think they're supposed to look like a dog. 
First time wearing shoes with fur on it. Watch oh. out, there's some spikes on there, oh so be a little gosh. bit careful. There you go, <laughs> Whoa. There you go, they got <laughs> spikes on You know there. what I mean? Just like, in case yeah, someone gets be, too close. Like, it's, it's like throwing a javelin at me, oh man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you imagine you missed it? A straight. What are those? It's like a great part, and he's going to throw a spear oh, at me. Oh, yeah, those are the uh, Aztec uh, sneakers right there. Something. I don't know what they are. That's Anybody ever hit you with the what are those, Tony? I never got hit with the what are those. Flawless record. All my Jordans was always cool, because in the hood, you don't want to get snapped on. You come to the hood, Man, your sneakers ain't right. You got a, a crinkle in the, in the Air Force. You got to throw those in the garbage, man. <laughs> Shout out to 134 Southside, the whole Southside, Jamaica, Queens, Brooklyn. You ever, stuff, okay. you ever stuff your like Air Force Ones so they don't crease? Of course. But and they're sold out right now. You can't even yeah. go to the store and get Everywhere. them. Everywhere. So it's just crazy. But, brother, yeah, yeah, we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip okay. meaning it looks good. Flip good. meaning that you resell. Skip meaning that you wouldn't rock with it at all. Our first sneaker is going to be the Nike Mountain Fly Low. ACGs. Bang, black and volt. I think those are drip. You a big they, ACG sneaker guy? I like those. I mean, I just think that you could wear those. Maybe because if it was in another color, I wouldn't like it, but they black, and I, I just love black sneakers. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. Did you ever have a Nike boot moment coming up in New York, too, like that? Of course. Oh, you're right? okay. Nike boots. I know you're a Tim guy, yeah. like butters for days. Yeah, the Tims, the Tims, the Nike boots. Remember when he had the Florence colors at that Sheesh. point? Three, even four, the, five Even colors. the motorcycle boot, you know? Okay. You know, the Harlem boys started it, but right, Queens right. was wearing the motorcycle boots with the motorcycle jackets back in the days. Was, okay. feel like, yeah, this is a drip. I feel like you could do something very like outdoors in this so yeah I'm, I'm going camping in these for sure you yeah, coming I, tony yeah i like those and if they're comfortable you like camping them. yeah why not we'll go camping let's yeah. do it bitch. <laughs> let, the, let the drip fall yeah. down from yeah. from a creek or those something are drippy right there camping. Yeah. you know what i mean i like these with a nice pair of pants that stack really nice on it or whatever like you i come in camping mean, too i don't have to go camping though you don't want to make have some s'mores or something? Oh, well, I mean, if Tony Yeo is gonna camping. Fly. I want to see what he's going to wear. We you know what camping. I mean? Are you starting the campfire for us, Trinidad? Sure. Come on. Yo, next <laughs> show, we're going to camp it, man. Yeah, sure, let's we do gonna it. We're going to camp in Trinidad. I said, I want to see what he's going to wear. Yes, yeah, sir. You got to fit for it. Now, this is a drip, man. I'm moving forward. Shooter number two, Billy E. Oh. Air Force One High. No. Billy E. Billy Eilish. How you gonna violate those like that, man? <laughs> you can't violate the Air Force Ones, the high tops like that. So this is a... Uh, nah, bottom. no go. No go. Brand in the hood, I'm getting snapped on on one three four and God Brew a win. <laughs> I can't up. wear those in Southside. Yeah. What are those? That's for a skip me. for me, too. Yeah, she got the strap one too many times yeah. here. Get the strap. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, too much. I thought the Billy Jordan 15s were pretty good. I wouldn't wear them, but these are not a step in the right direction, so skip. I'm gonna go against my brother and sitting down here, and I'm gonna say drip just you because like I know that those I can get these off. Though. I can get these off, bro. Like, that's his style. Yeah, you're right. How, right. How, those how are his style. Right. I mean, the thing about it is you don't show all the straps. So you saying you only show the, you're only supposed to see the two bottom straps. That's how you style it correctly. Oh. If you see more than two straps when somebody right outfit, here. I can't show all five straps and make that drip. Mm -hmm. Right. I Let can't. Let your strap hang low. Miss Eilish, keep doing your thing. With the straps, moving forward. Eminem time Adidas for him. You know, Adidas, you're an Adidas guy, well, T. I don't think these are the Eminem sneakers that anyone wants. Marshall? Um, yeah. No. So that's a... <laughs> no, these are awful. Oh, uh, this is a skip. Okay, okay, my brother, yeah, yo. Is this the wrong Eminem for you? I think it depends, because if the right person wears it, it'll be drippy. I would say it's drippy because if the right person wear that shoe, then it's drip. What if you had the Eminem NASCAR jacket to go with it? <laughs> I, I think that'll be kind of hard. Remember the NASCAR jackets oh, back in the days? Did. I don't, I, mm, no, I don't like these. You guys like the pretzel M&Ms though? Have you had the pretzel M&M? Also, what's up with how they desexualized huh? what? The, the green M&M, you know? Oh, the green M&M was too sexy for the m and they, girl, they toned right? it down, yeah. Oh, the one with the legs. Yeah, she I doesn't have the legs like that anymore. Damn. It's very progressive. Damn, I didn't even very know progressive. She's a lawyer now. Okay. Now I know, you, you're a small guy, bro. Like Special man. I like it. Um, so, but I do feel like it's like a, an award show type of shoe or like an event. Like, it got to be an event. You wearing these to the Oscars? What are we talking about? Oscars, no. But, you know, uh, Nickelodeon you're Awards. Nick, you're wearing the Nick Kids <laughs> Awards? <laughs> now, my brother, yeah, yeah, we also do outfits on this segment. And there's okay. no better outfits than to oh. do Tony Yayo okay. outfits. Outfit number one. Okay. I got the Timberlands real hood. I don't know why I had them shorts on. <laughs> Um, polo, Might have been a hot day. Polo. That was the real polo, big polo. Yeah. I think the glasses was Dose and the, 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 the D and G glasses with yeah. the D on the side was crazy. I think I, I don't like the shorts too much, but it's cool. I got away with it. Timberlands, real hoodie. Look, all of us Timberlands, New York. And no creases in the front. They all fresh butters. <laughs> Skip. 
Because of the shorts? Yeah, I don't like the shorts. Well, there's nothing more New York than wearing shorts Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to say drip because of the Timbs. <laughs> yeah. took it back. Right. We sleep in Timberlands. Let's go, baby. What's interesting is that even seeing this picture here, because this has to be the 2000s, early 2000s, yeah, this definitely. picture right yep. here, to see Jada on the verses when he was, like, I feel like he had on shorts with the Yeah, boot. you can do that. See, you know sometimes you official. The Fresh Butters look good. Shout out to Jada. Like, come on, that was real. Like, he came for New York Ready. combat. You know, back in the day, that's how we grew up. You right. know what I mean? You that's get real. fresh in the summer, you might throw some nights, but the Timberlands is like, and you know, they'll crack on you if you don't got the Tims with the, uh, with the leather, leather on top. Yeah, the butt nakeds. You wear the butt nakeds. You got to cover yours up. See how Banks got his covered up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he ain't had a butt nakeds, but that's what you <laughs> Just in case. And it was interesting to see all three of y'all rocking differently. Like, you with the shorts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Banks covered the joint. And 50's like, I got a tongue fuck. Yeah. And then you got to think how aggressive, you come aggressive places, you know, it, it gets aggressive. Like, there was a time where the clubs banned those. Really? Because those are like a weapon. You got 10 dudes stomping you with Timberlands, Hell, man. you die. You'd rather <laughs> have them stomping you with Jordans or something. Or you don't want it's some Air Maxes that yeah, bounce yeah, right yeah. off your head. Yeah. Yeah. I need Air Maxes. I guess you got to stomp me. I need some Air Maxes or something, but you got 10 dudes with Tims. You know? Yo. They're not as worse as Steel Toes, you know? Max. This is New York. That's what, yeah, it doesn't get more New York than this, so. Trip. You know, you know, yeah, y'all joke all the time online about New York with Timberlands. Come on, man. This is it. <laughs> you ever go swimming in a pair of Tims? Never. I might try it one day. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. <laughs> Brendan, drip flip No, here. I love this. Just even the even the exact angle of the tongue and the way the laces are, like you can't teach that in school. You know what I mean? Look how we all wore it different Yeah, ways. yeah, this is a master out, class in Timberland styling. Put, his, put this shit on a billboard, right man. There. Yeah, that's drip, man. This is, yeah, this is drip. You know, the boots on the carpet stress me out a little bit, but other than that, it's nah. drip. <laughs> Outfit number two, this is a drip for me too. Oh. oh where How'd Dubai? you get that? Yeah. <laughs> that was in Dubai, that was one of my scariest moments, right? You see how Is that your man Satan's house? Satan. Yeah. I was at Satan's house, shout out to Satan. Um, I was at Satan's house, and look at the leash. That was like an action cheetah, and he was kind of feisty. My friend behind me did mad time in jail. He was he's scared. scared. Look, he's holding, just, yo, he's holding somebody his look wrist. At his <laughs> things we do for Instagram. I was just like, yo, let me just try it. This is one of the craziest things I ever did. I wouldn't say it's too much drip, but I do have the Jordans on. Stussy and the Jordans, then he know. Gosh. My jeans wasn't too baggy. I was scared holding the cheetah. <laughs> Um, I, was I was wondering, like, are you scared Was the right cheetah going to run off on you? Yo, listen, I was scared, man. Your man in the back has the black Air Force Ones, but he's still scared of the cheetah. Yeah, he's scared. He got the black Air Force Ones. <laughs> Brendan. That's my man, El Dorado. He was scared of that. Shout out to El Dorado. Brendan Dunn, drip flipper skip, sir. <sighs> yeah, that's a that's a drip. You're, you're holding that cheetah with confidence. Holding the cheetah. Is that, that's not Charlie the cheetah, is it? Nah, man. I don't, yo, shout out to Satan. Satan had lions and camels. <laughs> we went to Dubai. We didn't get to do any cheetah che holding. Che we didn't have any cheetah situations, but um, next time. Next Next time. Time. trip. I love that Jordan so much because it's interesting. What Jordan is that? 14. It's a 14. Jordan okay. 14. So you, you, you know your Jordan. That's a shoe that I don't expect Tony Yeo to have and you have it on, and that's Listen, why it's a man, big drip to I me. I just be like, yo, give me that Jordan, that Jordan. Some people, like, you're a genius. Y'all know the actual sneaker. Mm -hmm. So I got to start knowing that. But I love those in black, too. I might have them. Outfit number three. All right. Shout out to y'all, Action Bronson and Kid Kid, but... Kid Kid. What Jordans is those I have on? I'm going to pass on that. Sevens. Oh, is Yo, does Action Bronson have on a big polo shirt? He's got a polo shirt and matching polo shorts. Where are you and Bronson headed? We might have been coming from Brussels or, or <laughs> Germany or somewhere in the airport, but he was on a tour to us. Shout to Action Bronson. Oh, you guys just, like, ran into each other at the airport? Yeah, or? I done, well, on tour is the beautiful thing. I, I done ran into all kind of artists, Future, mm -hmm. um, Bronson. Yeah. We done been on tours with Fab. I didn't even ran into Boys the Men. Our last was time that? we was on, it was crazy. Um, Cisco is like a lot of people, so you run it. It's dope when you see all this timeless music. Yeah, it's a skip, because I, I feel like action shirt was too big. <laughs> Me, I got a Moschino shirt on, but I don't know. I think the burgundy and black can go. I don't know what I was trying to do with this one. Yeah, I mean, action bronze and friend of the program. That's my guy, man. Yeah, bias to that, so it's a drip. Um, I do love to see the Queens link up international, but Definitely. not my favorite Jordan 7, so I'm skipping it as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm skipping it. Yeah, I can skip this one. I saw a lot better Tony Ayo outfits. Yeah, yeah. This uh, is even outside the pictures we showed. Russian so. airport. This is Fact. like Russian bags, bill, plane. Of course, of course. And make sure you pay your room service, because 50's now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube okay. for the past week, which is always a fun time.
We have one from okay. Philip Trevino saying, are we going to get any pro skaters on the show? I feel like y'all haven't covered that side of the sneaker culture. They, I, I feel like we should get some pro skaters on here because the pro skater sneakers, yeah. they're Facts. cool. Is there a big selection of pro skaters? Can sneakers? you call Tony Hawk for us? I wish I could, man. Probably get Eminem or 50 to make that call. We'll set it up. We'll set it up. Gavin Lepore says, important question, are Spizikes considered Team Jordans? Hmm. No? Yes. Okay. What do you mean, Spizikes? Spike Lee's shoe with the multiple different Jordans on the same one? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't consider the team Jordan, but I can see why somebody may say that, but okay. I consider that Spike's Jordan. Okay. Bloke with the Smoke says, I cannot stop watching the show. First one I saw was Paul Wall and have since watched every episode in seven days. Wow, on a real binge. Thank you oh, for wow. that one. Yeah. Thank you, Tony, for being here. This is our penultimate episode of the season. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan from, Dunn. I gotta I come back. Nick. I love the sneakers, Woo! baby. And y'all play a big part in the culture here at Complex, Trinidad guys. Love you guys. And I, I learned a lot more about sneakers with you guys. Thank you, Tony. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me, man. Chit 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 chit. She, 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 she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Dad here at Trinidad James. Man, this is another season. We're 12 seasons in. That's 100-plus episodes. That means that if you've already saw 100-plus episodes with us, you're subscribed. And if you're not, you need to be subscribed. And if you don't know any better, subscribe. You know how upset I get when I hear that people aren't? It's like, you're watching this and you didn't subscribe yet? Like, what? what uh, just please. But even if you've only watched one episode, or two episodes, or three episodes, or four episodes, Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Do it. Subscribe. Subscribe.